So in 1979, I was practicing the hustle so I wouldn't look like a geek at the high school dance, you know, so, so I wasn't around. I, I did not know Ted. But I know that every time I speak, I always ask the same question of the audience. And I know that Chris has recorded this question before. I've asked it, since you're always a recorder for this group. I, I asked it of the audience when I was here to speak last time about innovation. I ask it in internal meetings. I ask it in dinners like this. And it's always about VISTA, and it's always about contribution to VISTA. And what I ask is, how many people in the room, when you look at VISTA, can you see your fingerprints? And of course, in this room, a lot of appendages would have to go up. And I always have used that phrase because I've always thought that VISTA does not belong to any one person. It took all of us to make it happen. But what I'm learning tonight is actually that there was something that we all applied our fingerprints to, and it was Ted's work. And I, I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to meet the family tonight. I'm humbled by the story, and I'm hum humbled to be in your presence. So thank you for being here. We, um, I'm going to make a prediction, and when this prediction comes true, I want all of you to find me and track me down and send me emails and say you were right. So the prediction is someday, soon, the Smithsonian is going to call and say, who has Vista 1.0? So when that happens, you'll all call me, right? <laughs> and we'll have another party like this. because. It, that is how important and that's how historical this has been. And uh, the fact that me, who wasn't even you know, paying any attention to this, didn't know what I wanted to be in life in 1979, have been able to see my fingerprints. And we've seen Sue Kinnick, who invented Barcode Medication Administration, which is now the international standard and which has saved lives of veterans. We see Tim Cromwell, who is forcing this nation to be interoperable, even though the nation's not quite sure they're ready to do it. We're seeing another generation being able to add value to what was originally started by Ted. So when you're in public service, you know, you're not doing it for the money. You're not doing it for the fame. You're doing it for the value. And when you think about the value that Ted has given through the work that he did so many years ago, he has saved lives. He's allowed for correct diagnoses. He's allowed for better quality of life, and that's just priceless. Of course, if there's an economist in the room, they're going to also want to monetize value. And Rob started, and Tim executed a study with Harvard partners that showed that from, for the 10-year period with Vista, VA made an investment of $4 billion, but the gross return of value was $7 billion with a net value to veterans of $3 billion. That means that those dollars were available to work for veterans and to be applied directly for the health care of veterans. So I thank Ted for uh, his contribution, and um, I thank all of you for all that you've done for VISTA over the years as well. Thanks. <laughs>